Welcome to Minitab 17, where we're going to learn a little bit about Minitab and we're going to use it to calculate some basic descriptive statistics. So first let me introduce you to Minitab. You've got a menu bar up here on the top. You have what's called a session window. So as we do things in Minitab, they're going to show up in the session window. But you can also type in the session window just like it was a word processor, except you don't get a lot of cool fonts. But I can say, hey, I am typing in the session window. So if you ever need to make notes, if you're doing homework and you want to put things in the session window, you can write your own notes. You don't just have to have the results of Minitab things. This bottom section is called the worksheet, and it looks kind of like an Excel spreadsheet, but it's a little bit different in that everything has to be in columns. So you'll see here I have a column C1 called F height, and I've got the heights of women in centimeters, that would be huge if they were in inches, listed in the same column. I can't work in rows in Minitab, I have to work in columns. So this first column is the heights of women, the next column is the heights of men, again in centimeters over here. I've got some diastolic and systolic blood pressures for both men and women, and I've recorded their heights in this column C6, gender. You'll notice the C6 has a T after it. That's because it is a text column. Once you put text in, Minitab says it's a text column, and it won't let you do things like find the mean of a text column, because that doesn't make any sense. All right, that's the three things, your menu, your session window, and your worksheet that you might want to know about. Let's start to use Minitab to actually do something. Let's calculate some basic descriptive statistics. So for example, let's find the mean height, the standard deviation of the heights of these females. So I'm going to go up here to my menu, and the one I'm going to use is stat. Most of the statistical things we're going to do are going to be in our stat menu. Most of the graphical things we're going to do, if graphical is a word, and I think it is, are going to be in the graph menu. I'm going to go to stat, and what I want to do is go then to basic statistics, and I'm just moving my mouse there, and another menu opens up to the side of it. And I want it to display descriptive statistics. I'm looking for mean, standard deviation, the basic descriptive statistics. So I'm going to go to display descriptive statistics, it even tells me if I leave my mouse over it what that's going to do, and click on it. Now Minitab opens what's called a dialog box, and it says variables. It's saying, hey Eric, what variable do you want to find the statistics on? Well, I want to find it on F height. So I'm going to go over here to F height, put my mouse on it, and I have two choices. I can either click that, and then click select, or I could have just double clicked F height, and it would put it in the variables box. All right, now at this point, I could choose which statistics I wanted, but I'm just going to say OK and let Minitab do its default statistics for the moment. So I'm going to click on OK, and you'll see Minitab here in the session window gives me the basic statistics of F height. N is how many there are. There's 35. N star, there's no missing elements. There's no lines I skipped. The mean height is 164.35 centimeters. The standard deviation is 7.09 centimeters. Notice this one is not the standard deviation. That's called the standard error of the mean. I didn't want that. But I might have wanted the mean and the standard deviation. I've also got the minimum and the maximum. I've got both quartiles and the median. I can tell Minitab not to give me all of these. I can tell Minitab to give me more. Let's do it with men's heights. Let's only get the mean, the standard deviation, and the median. Let's turn off some of the other ones, and I'll show you how. So I'm going to go to Stat, Basic Statistics, display descriptive statistics. This time, I don't want F height, I'm going to double click M height. And then, before I click OK, I'm going to hit statistics. And you'll see it's got check marks next to all the statistics that are being used. Now, I don't want the standard error of the mean, so I'm going to uncheck it. I don't want the minimum and the maximum, or how many and what the sample size is. And I don't want the first quartile and the third quartile. I only want the mean, the standard deviation, and the median. Maybe I want the mode. So I click on the mode. And now I'll get the mode as well. Then I say OK and OK. And now I get the height for men. The mean height is 175.87 inches with a standard deviation of 6.16. I'm sorry, inches, not inches, centimeters, centimeters. Minitab, of course, has no idea what the units are. I have to know what the units are a median of 176.10 centimeters, and there's a star here, meaning that there's no mode. If there were a mode, N for mode would tell me how many times that mode appeared. So there's no mode at all. Nothing appeared more than once. Excellent. Now, maybe though, I wanted to look at the female height and the men height side by side. And in Minitab, I don't have to just do one at a time. Let me show you what I mean. I can go to Stat, Basic Statistics, 
display descriptive statistics, and I could double click F height, and I could double click M height, and I could put both of them in, and now say OK. And you'll see it calculates them one right on top of the other. There's the female height, and I can easily compare it to the male, male height in centimeters. I can easily compare the standard deviations, because there's one right on top of the other. Same thing with the medians, and obviously neither one had a mode. So we're good there. Now, there's another way I could do it. Let's look at our blood pressure. See how I have diastolic and systolic blood pressures? Well, I want to look at those. So let's first just find the mean, standard deviation, median, and mode of the diastolic and systolic blood pressures. So I'm going to say stat, basic statistics, and I'm going to display descriptive statistics. And this time I want to do diastolic and systolic. And I'm going to say OK. And Minitab will tell me the mean diastolic pressure is 80.012. That would, of course, be in millimeters of mercury. The systolic, 120.29. Here's the standard deviations of each group. There's the medians of each group. Neither one has a mode. But I want to know males versus females. I want to know, I want to compare the diastolic blood pressures of men and the diastolic blood pressures of women. I want to compare the systolic blood pressures of men and the systolic blood pressures of women. So I'm going to use what's called a bivariable. I want Minitab to sort this, these statistics by the gender of the patient. So calculate the mean diastolic blood pressure for the males and for the females. So I'm going to say stat, basic statistics, display descriptive statistics. I'll still do both diastolic and systolic, but I want to sort it using what's called a bivariable, sort it by gender. So I don't have to have a bivariable, but if I go down here and click in this box, by the way, you'll notice gender doesn't show up because you can't display descriptive statistics on gender because it's text. But when I click in the bivariable box, you can sort by a text variable, by a nominative variable, if you're talking about your levels of data. So I'm going to double click on gender to put that in there. And now I'm going to say OK and watch what happens. Diastolic pressure, it does females and males. There's the mean diastolic pressure of females and the mean diastolic pressure of males. Same thing with systolic. The mean di uh, systolic pressure of females, the mean systolic pressure of males. Minitab generally does things alphabetically. Since female comes before male, it did the F before the M. As far as diastolic and systolic, it's the same order I put them in. Since diastolic, I actually double clicked first, it went first. So there I can use Minitab to calculate descriptive statistics and to sort it by another column. My bivariable would have to be in a column of its own. So here I did. I had the gender in a column of its own. Whereas with the heights, I did not. I couldn't have sorted it by that because I had the female heights in a separate column from the male heights. Here I have all the blood pressures in the same column, and I sort it by whether or not they're male or female.